Okay, so this is how I do really quick and simple site diagram studies um, that are ready to print and present right away in the very early stages of a, planning a site um, for a client. So uh, for the example in this video, I'll show you, uh, this is the presentation that gets built while we're doing what we're doing here. And this is kind of the end result, what it looks like as I scroll through these pages. I think there's seven, uh, six pages. Uh, so you get all these drawings, you get a 3D view. Um, when we're done with what we're working on today, this is more or less what our presentation is going to look like. So this is what it actually looks like uh, when it's blank, when there's nothing in here except for the site that uh, we've already chosen, uh, or I've already chosen to study in this video. And here's what each one of these pages looks like if I just go down the line. Um, it's just the sidewalk kind of where the streets would go and your 3D view looks empty. So um, there's that where we'll end up. So um, make sure to watch until the end of this video where I'll show you how you can get this whole process for free right now. Um, I actually personally think it's too much to give away for free, so I don't know how long it will be uh, available for now, but uh, if you click the link in the video now, it's actually f uh, for free. So. Um, I'm gonna be using Revit. This is a custom made Revit file that when you open up has those sheets in here. So this is just my default 3D view. And this is what it looks like that uh, that final completed project. I'm just gonna to change to um, a design option in here, which is where we started. So that last blank document is here. Um, if I go to cover sheet, this is where all of those sheets are. They're already put together. Um, this is ready to go. Um, and then if I switch if I go back to my 3D default 3D view and switch to our completed project where it has um, everything done, I'll go back through here and you'll see uh, we've got this presentation here, which is uh, ready to go and, and done. The rendered site plan uh, in 3D view, you can turn that into a plan. Um, here's another just a line drawing site plan and you get uh, the perspective view. Um, looks like that with everything done. So without further ado, I will go um, back to the beginning, default 3D view, go to um, where we're starting. So this is our project. I've got the site. I've got the generally where the streets are and, uh, and that. So we want to start by building our overall buildable volume. Um, you know, you have setbacks and you have height limits and, and that uh, when you're researching your site. If I go to my second sheet here, site diagrams, um, this first uh, this first diagram here is your buildable volume. So I'll switch to my completed. You'll notice how it has this big square um, in there. So if I go back to my uh, 3D view, I actually have a design option in here called copy paste, where all of my copy paste, everything in this in this Revit file um, that I could need is in this copy paste family. Um, so you can see this is our buildable volume. It's kind of a box that's got other boxes inside of it. What I'm gonna do is just copy this from the copy paste um, because I already know that I have settings in here that are gonna work for me. So if I go to where we're starting, option one, this is where we started. I'm just gonna go paste all into the same place. Um, and what I wanna do is kind of move this, you know, and this will work on any shape site, but for simplicity, we're just gonna go um, here I can edit in place and um, yeah, you can also edit the lining, uh, the lines of the extrusion that way. But for now, I think this looks good. And if I go to again my site diagram sheet, you'll see that only shows up in this first this first one here. So we have that done. Uh, next, if I go back to copy paste families. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to copy this next group, which represents the buildings, into my option one. And yeah, once again, there we go. I'm going to kind of just move these guys into place. And for now, I'm going to move this. Um, let's see. We want something, I think like this, give us a little open space 
here and then I want to move this back in just make sure that it covers just for this example and there we have both of those done so the first thing that we want to do next um, if we go to copy paste uh, we want to copy in the wind so um, our prevailing wind uh, essentially so if I go back uh, to our completed uh, version here. This diagram on the left has these swoopy, swirling wind lines uh, up above it to indicate kind of you have your overall volume and mass of the, the buildable mass of a site. Um, how does the wind, of, you know, you want to see how the wind overlays on top of that. Um, so if I once again go to copy face families, you'll see uh, we have that family in here. And what this is, is actually just a railing family. It's a custom made railing family that's meant to just uh, look the way it does, and we won't go into um, how it's built or anything like that, but you can see it's literally just a path, the same way railings are um, drawn, control, copy, and that can be a curve, it can be, you know, whatever you want it to be in terms of line work. I'm going to copy this into, um, into here, paste, you'll see it there. And what we want is we want this to just be floating above our volume here. So, I don't know, I'm going to say up here offset from base 120 feet or something that's probably good and let's say that the prevailing wind is kind of this direction I'm gonna move it and I want this to be drawn all the way across here that looks good copy it up a couple of times And you can see sort of what that looks like. Maybe we want it to look like that. So looks good. Site diagram sheet. Uh, we have kind of a nice obvious, and you can tweak that, make it look a little bit better. But uh, for now, I'm happy with that. So next is we want to draw these arrows um, that I've been showing you. I'm going to just move these out of the way um, for a moment. And you saw how we have the arrows uh, in this sample project. And if I go back to site diagrams, now in the middle one, we have these arrows shooting at and kind of indicating this is how we're breaking up that buildable volume, right? So if I go to copy paste families, these you'll see the arrows in here. These are also uh, just different versions uh, of the same arrow, but these are also just a railing family just based off of a path that you can click the line and, and change the line work up. Um, which is pretty neat. So I'm just going to grab uh, this one and you'll see why there's multiple versions of this uh, in, in a minute here, but I'm going to grab this control copy and go to mine, paste, find the same place. Okay. And what I'm actually going to do is just draw these into the street. So what I want to do is edit this path. I'm going to move it more or less to where, yeah, to where the uh, end of these arcs are. And then I know that this street is uh, 24, so that's the midpoint of that. There we go. So nice. We have a uh, street there. I'm going to rotate this guy around. And we want to do the same thing kind of edit the path so that it comes all the way down there. Offset it to the midpoint. That's great. And I'm going to copy rotate both of these to create our other two. And it's important not to mirror uh, these lines. You actually just want to rotate them. Mirroring will mess up some other things. Um, I'll show you why in a little bit. All right, looks good. So now you can see um, we sort of have 
this diagram with these nice 3D and, and the thing is you can you can either view this in plan and it communicates the same thing or you can view it in 3D. Um, so that's that's sort of the nice thing. And if I go to the site diagrams here, um, and if you just kind of ignore uh, this this portion that we moved off to the side, um, yeah, you end up you'll have your buildable volume there, and then you'll have your uh, 3D arrows here, um, you know. And then actually, what's cool um, is when you draw these arrows, which you're which you're also going to get, and this is the cool part, um, is at the same time you're you're drawing a street so if you can see in this view this arrow is actually overlaid on top of a two-way street so in here um, if I go into railings and actually just turn off the balusters you'll see you have walking path you have a street with striping um, you're actually creating a full road when you draw those arrows um, and then once more they also come with trees. So if I go to this next view where the trees are turned on, I can also turn the railings um, baluster off in here. And you'll see kind of trees populating in here, um, which is nice. And then I'll set my detail view to fine here. And you'll see these trees show up with all their leaves. And you know if you have shadows turned on, that creates some cool effects. Um, you know, And then the next step is these also come with people walking around and cars driving on the streets. So once again, I'll go into just to hammer this point home, I suppose, railings and turn off the balusters. You see you have um, a lot of activity uh, in your model just automatically drawn in. And you can change up the, the types of these railings to, to give you different cars, to give you different trees um, with just a couple of clicks. Uh, which is really nice. So actually if I go back to my 3D view here and move this back into place, um, we're actually already done. So I'll move this so that it's covering everything. That's where our drawing ends up. Not bad. And then so now if we go back through our presentation cover sheet we end up with um, the diagrams. You zoom into this one, you can see the trees and you can see the streets, but not the cars. All of the views are set. Um, yeah, you can you can change this to a plan if you want. It communicates the same thing. Um, the rendered site plan looks great because this is a high detail mode, and you can get kind of all of the shadows. Um, you know, and you still have your site plan drawing, which gives you the uh, the right visuals for what's appropriate there, and your perspective view. You can move this camera around, but you uh, you can see with just drawing those uh, with those arrows, this is all of the the stuff that you get. I can print this out now um, and hand it over to a client. Uh, it's it's that well, um, you know that that far along. So the the sort of the last thing here is if you wanted to populate this with more, um, you know, we have here all of the entourage that I'm using plus more cars people you can you can draw those all over so if I copy this uh, cyber truck into here um, you know move these guys out of the way <laughs> I've got uh, I don't know maybe yeah I copy rotated that but yeah maybe he's turning yeah, that way just going in we can go down and see what the perspective view looks like nice floating a little bit but yeah you get the picture so yeah that's how I do that real quick um, and we have a done presentation uh, you know that's that's uh, sort of the end of this one that's all I wanted to show with this but this is its own isolated uh, template that you can get um, everything, it does everything I just showed you in this and comes with a few examples. Um, but you can get access to that by clicking the link, you know, and go and get that for free. Plus check out all the other stuff that I have available, um, you know, and subscribe to the, the channel if you saw, you know, saw some value in this because it seems like some people do. I'm going to keep going here. So 
thanks for tuning in. You know, that's, that's the end of this video.